Welcome back to TFL Trader YouTube channel. Here you can download thousands of robots and indicators for your trading. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest videos. Okay, in today's video, we will talk about how to optimize robots in backtesting. If you do not know how to backtest a robot with real ticks with an accuracy of up to 99.9%. Watch that video. The video link I put is below the description of this video. Or you can go to TFL Traders YouTube channel and find it. Now back to our main topic today. How to optimize a robot in MT4. Basically, we will have three steps as follows. Step 1. Backtest with default settings to see what happens. As usual, before performing optimization a robot. I will backtest once to get an overview of the robot's performance. Therefore, I will make adjustments in the next step. Step 2. Conduct robot optimization. Basically, the optimization is to find the best value of the parameters, for the sole purpose of reducing drawdown and increasing profit. Step 3. How to choose the best value of the parameters. In this step, we will have the measurement result of the values. Depending on the risk appetite of each trader, you will get the best setup. The first thing, you need to do is open up Strategy Tester, which you do by clicking on this icon up here. The one with the little magnifying glass. Then the next step is to select the robot. In this case, I will test the robot in MT4, named Moving Average. We will carry out to backtest this robot with the default setting first to see what happens. Then we'll optimize it. Ok now after you've selected the robot, you select the currency, and again for this test we're just going to use the GBP, USD. Tick model. Depending on how fast you want to test it, and how accurate you want it. You would select which kind of model you want and for this one. And in most cases, I select every tick. About use date. I will test in one month. Visual mode. If you do the backtesting in visual mode, it takes a little bit longer. But obviously, you can see it as it's happening. So depending on what you want to actually achieve from your testing. And then you select the time period, which in our case is gonna be the one hour time frame. Now, it's time to hit st Focus on the results section. Before analyzing the results, make sure you backtest with 99.9% .9 modeling quality. If you don't know how to get it, please find this video in our YouTube channel. Okay. You will see a lot of information. In most cases, I'm only interested in the two most important pieces of information. Those are profit and drawdown. And the purpose of optimizing the robot is to change the options in the robot's settings to reduce the drawdown and increase the profit. As you can see on the screen, with default settings, we have a profit of about $38, while the drawdown is up to $403. This is a bad result because the risk is great but the return is too low. A professional trader is often concerned with risk before thinking about profit. Therefore, when optimizing robots, you should pay special attention to drawdown. A drawdown is the reduction of one's capital after a series of losing trades. This is normally calculated by getting the difference between a relative peak in capital minus a relative trough. Ok, now we proceed to optimize the robot by adjusting the parameters. Each robot will have different parameters. Therefore, you need a little basic knowledge of trading to choose which parameters to be adjusted. 
In this example, the robot uses the moving average as the entry condition. So I will change two parameters, moving period, and moving shift. We'll start with the moving period first. To optimize, you must first tick the checkbox. Then you notice three columns start, step and stop. We will start with 10, step equals 1, and end with 20. This means we will backtest the value, moving period, from 10 to 20 to see which value gives the best results. Do the same with moving shift, starting with 1, step 1, and ending with 6. Then press the OK button. Note, before pressing the start button, you must make sure that the optimization checkbox is ticked. This optimization usually takes a lot of time, depending on the structure of the robot and how long you want to optimize. OK done, now we click on the Optimization Results tab to see the results. I will focus on two columns, Profit and Drawdown. Based on that, I will choose a setting that I think is the best. In this example, I always prefer a setup with a low drawdown, so I'll look at the Drawdown column first. Click on it to let the MT4 software do the sorting from small to large or from large to small. So, I found myself in a pretty good setting, with a drawdown of around $240 and a profit of around $449, corresponding to the option moving period equals 18 and moving shift equals 4. This means I would risk a maximum of about $240 to get a profit of $449. And now, I will backtest with the updated new value of parameters to see the re robot on the MT4 trading platform. If you found this video helpful, please press the like button to encourage TFL trader team. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon to stay updated with my new videos, so you don't miss any newest videos. Thank you.